Boston Celtics in Detroit taking on the Pistons. Rodney Stuckey coming off a 36-point game against the Kings, averaging 28 a game in his last three, meeting with Rajon Rondo before the game. Paul Pierce knocking down a three off the good ball movement from the Celtics. Pierce had a team high 18. Then Pistons in transition. Stuckey knocking down the fadeaway jumper off glass and one. He had 16 points in this one. 26 all after the first quarter. Pistons building a lead in the second. Will Bynum with the steal. 22 turnovers for the Celtics. Jonas Jarepko finishing the other way. 40 points for the Pistons off of those 22 Celtics turnovers. Tayshaun Prince knocks down a three from the top of the key. Pistons by 12. Then off of Pistons miss, Greg Monroe. Gonna get the rebound. Just put it right back up, coming up on the other side. 55-42, Detroit led it at halftime. In the third, Ray Allen getting to do what he does best. Knocks down the jumper right there. Cuts the lead to five at that point. Still in the third, Rajon Rondo driving. Misses, thought he got fouled and didn't like the no call. After the shot, Greg Monroe came up over his shoulders and Rondo, well, he tosses the ball in the direction of the ref and that's gonna get you the gate. He'll be hearing from the league office rather soon on that one. Greg Monroe finishing in traffic and the foul on the assist from Brandon Knight and then Rodney Stuckey in the four. Time winding down, Detroit trying to ice this. Stuckey misses the fadeaway, but Monroe there for the putback. 17 points, 10 rebounds for him. Detroit shot just 37% from the field, but shot 46 free throws in this one compared to 15 for Boston as the Pistons have now won seven of nine.